Within the Sephardic Jewish tradition, songs have had many functions, from the empowerment of women to the teaching of rituals. One musicologist has spent her professional life visiting the Sephardic diaspora and documenting these songs from centuries past, which are still performed today. The Sephardim first left Spain over 500 years ago, creating new communities across the continents. Despite this huge division across time and space, in many cases the same pre-diaspora songs are still performed. Susanna Weich Shahak has been contributing to the Jewish Music Research Center of Jerusalem for over 40 years, visiting these communities to make first-hand recordings of the songs. Well, the music and poetry are involved in every aspect and in every occasion of Jewish life. Part of them, those who are more related to the Hispanic roots, and part of them that were composed already in second di diaspora, when they were already in either the Turkish uh, Empire or in the northern Morocco. The songs are as practical as they are pleasurable, serving a function in the community, such as how to perform rituals or even wash clothes. The oral tradition was also empowering to the illiterate population, allowing them to learn about their own culture and history through the lyrics. Coplas, as I was saying, are very important in, a, in the mission of uh, forwarding the content of uh, the Jewish tradition, the festivities, the customs, the, the values of the, of the community, and for those that cannot read it, uh, the sources in Hebrew, who are they? Women and children. So the father of the family, normally, he will sing these coplas in special f festivities, either in Pentecostes, in Shavuot, or in uh, Purim, so as to explain, uh, to, to bring to their families the content of the feast, so they understand why do they celebrate this feast. And the Jewish Sephardic wedding consists of a long series of events. Each event has its special songs. There are songs for uh, wooing, there are songs for how to choose an husband. Mm. There are songs that uh, are sung when the dory is presented. Susanna played the videos she recorded to an audience in Madrid who were interested in Spain's Jewish history. One woman of Sephardic Moroccan heritage was in attendance and gave us a live example of the oral tradition she lived by during her childhood. <laughs> A song that is sung for the in the in the, in the, rit, in the ritual bath that describes all the body of the of the bride, her eyes and her nose and her mouth and everything with the metaphors of uh, different things. The same song is sung in Morocco, and the same song is sung in uh, in Rodos or in uh, Izmir. You see. So the, 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 the functions are practically the same. While each of the Sephardic communities has its own unique songs, the ones which have survived the 500 years of the diaspora have done so for one fundamental reason, because they remain relevant to the community today. This is Paul Walsh for JM1 in Spain.